Hello and welcome to this next video on my channel. Now today I'm going to talk about what I think is the best pass defense in Men 20. It's a very very effective blitz and I think that you really gave yourself. You're really treating yourself today because this is something that is very can be very very powerful if used correctly. I'm going to show you the best blitz there is in Men Ultimate Team. Now I'm in the Patriots playbook right now because I did not change the playbook that I'm running but it's also in the Patriots playbook it's also in the Miami Dolphins playbook and I know the Jets playbook for sure that are for I'm, I'm pretty sure they're, go they're going to be some other playbooks that still have this formation but I think the Jets and Miami Dolphins are the two best and out of Jets and Miami Dolphins I think the Dolphins is the best playbook that has this formation now I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about the formation one for six. I'm going to do a whole scheme on it, so I'm going to do a couple of videos on this formation. I'm going to first start off by showing you which audibles I'm usually going with. Usually, I'm putting cover four drop as one, cover two sink, and cover three sky. Now, what I usually do is I come out in DB sting two bus. I'm going to show you the specific audi audibles that I go with for Matt or the where I have each player on my defense in, in my main ultimate lineup shortly. But what I would recommend you do is turn off your auto flip. I didn't do that in my settings. Why? I don't know. I would usually always come out in DB Sting 2 bus and flip it. I can't flip it right now, but I'm going to come out in DB Sting 2 bus and right here on offense, I'm just going to set a couple of audibles. I would usually, uh, let's just go against Gunman, shall we? Shall we, shall we? Okay, so all that you want to do is you want to, you can base line or you, you can either base line or not. I usually don't base line against a compressed set like Punch. All I would do is I would blitz all linebackers, that's right on the D-pad and blitz all. And then I would QB contain, which is L1, R1. RB, LB and RB on PS on Xbox respectively and then I would move both of these cornerbacks in so that they are on the contains then against against gun bunch I would usually press make sure you have as fast of a cornerback as possible right here on this in this spot and then I would move my safeties down and yeah so that's the whole blitz I'm going to show you how effective this blitz is just right now I'm currently going against seven blockers and this blitz is going to come in pretty easily. That's seven on seven, and this blitz just screams at people. Once again, blitz all linebackers, QB contain, move this dude in, press, and move my safeties down. The, the adjustments for this are pretty simple. Now, let's go against uh, why this blitz is so effective. Uh, let's go over that, rather. So, these uh, contains right here, you need to you want your two best players or fastest players rather or out there or how do I say it? not fastest player I wouldn't put my Deion Sanders out there if I were you I would put Deion Sanders either here or here on the outside cornerbacks just because I want good coverage guys there they are just so fast that they can outrun the tight end you see right here and they just get glitchy angles and it's just really 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 powerful of a defense now and also this setup is pretty simple if you don't misclick like I frequently do now let's get into the coverage adjustments I would personally always man up this outside bunch guy then I would motion I would shade over top and then either way I want him to face Maybe I'll go outside, maybe inside, I don't know. Depends on if he's running a lot of post routes, I would put motion, uh, shade inside or crossing routes. If it's the other way around, I would motion outside. Most of the time, you're going to want to shade inside, though. Now, what else can we do? Usually, I like to man this free safety up on the running back. Just to make sure that the left side of the field is, is, uh, is accounted for by AI players so I can fully focus on the left side. Now, I would personally leave the soft squad out there for uh, Stefan Gilmore, so that's triangle, triangle, circle. Let's stick to the right, to so soft squad. And that's pretty much my base setup. Now, what you need to be wary of, if I, no, I don't have it sadly. Uh, you need to be wary of, of people beating your teeth. 
beating you deep you need to be careful about where you're using because it's simple a seam streak like that and if you try to oops if you try to use it way down low this r1 is going to get butt naked they probably will not have the time to throw it but there are some ways of picking this up of course every blitz in the game is blockable unless unless you're sending eight then it's of course not going to be blockable or it is, but not from a regular max protect. Okay, so once again, we want to blitz all linebackers, QB contain. Man, this guy up on him. And this could be kind of like the look. Most of the time, I don't even man up my running back just because what I often do is I would I would put this dude right here in a in an inside quarter. Okay. And then I would put a circle on an outside quarter and then just use it with this dude because I know that there, any cross, any route that comes across this area right here is mine. And a flat route most of the time is going to be, is, they will have to throw a quick route, a flat route so quickly that this zone hasn't fully dropped back yet. So he's probably going to make a quick tackle. He's not going to make a pick on it most likely, but he's still going to make the tackle. So I'm not afraid of any flat routes really. I only need to wor worry about I only need to worry about crossing routes. Now, something that is really glitchy is you want to maybe hover right here. And then one way to pick pick this blitz up is um, uh, is go to the right with your um, uh, with your line and then ID this blitz and now what you then can do as a defensive player is hover so then this blitz is once again unblockable because the offensive line thinks that you're blitzing 8 when you're really just blitzing 7 and then there's just no way to uh, counter that also one way you can also run these defenses you can uh, blitz this outside cor uh, cornerback so you're really blitzing 8 so we're getting really really crazy now with the heat that we're sending and then what I would do is just um, go like this outside quarters and really just really hum at your opponent. He's not going to be able to block this, so you need to be you need to be you re need to really jump any quick route. Like what are they gonna throw there? I can e either stick on the drag and I can then look back to the crosser. It's really really difficult to defend uh, to play against this S gun punch. Now, this is only if we want to be really crazy though. I would personally recommend to only do this like once a game or only a few times a game because this is so risky and if your opponent knows that it's coming, they can of course defeat it. Defeat is like no defense, defense can, can there's no, oh, I can't speak. There's no, de uh, no defense that is just unbeatable. You just need to make sure to mi uh, mix it up enough. Bring all of them down there and really freak your opponent out like right there if I I was not able to press triangle right there because I was using two using two controllers but if I press triangle yeah that's a pick so also something that you can do is you can make it look as if you're sending everybody and then just man up a couple of people throw out a QB spy using maybe this guy and then oh they're, they're blitzing everybody. Oh no, guess what? They're going in coverage. So, something that's really good about this is that you can send everybody or send nobody just from the same look. That's something that I really, really like about this play. But I would mostly recommend you to just send everybody, bl uh, press the coverage, move these guys down, probably put them in an inside quarter. Leave this soft squad out there, which because it man matches, and then just force them to make a quick read. Like these, he, I'm going against seven men protecting, and we're just getting in every time. Now, what you might say is, "Oh, I will just run on this." Well, guess what? It's really difficult to run on this defense. I don't know why they made it this good, but it's really difficult. Most of the time, he's going to get in there very easy. Now, weirdly enough, halfback sweep is pretty decent against this. Uh, against this um excuse me against this defense but if maybe let's go to a doubles inside zone 
If I now move all of them down here, I would in this case man up the circle wide receiver because he, because he is the solo wide receiver. And then if I just snap the ball there and shoot in there, why I'm why am I not blowing this up? This is really really weird. This is so weird. I can show you clips online of how I'm blowing up literally every run possible. Inside zone, this is an inside zone killer. Usually, I would I would trust Stefan Gilmo and just man him up and really be because most of the time they want to run against this, so I'm only worrying about there you go. Now we get in there. He got let me show you this in replay actually. He got touched there most of the time. He's going to get into the backfield untouched. Usually, and this is what happens. Uh, the uh, left tackle goes after the um, cornerback. So this linebacker can just shoot in freely. Now, now you see how good of a run defense this is. Once again, I love gun bunch formation just because... It's really, really powerful. It's FX Weave is so powerful against this defense. I don't know why, but this run just kills it. A absolutely kills it. Not just You just have to watch out for the user, really. That's all it is. If the user... I'm going to show you how to beat this now a little bit. If the user goes inside, then you just whoop, cut it outside and try to make your read there. So really, it opens up holes inside and outside. This is the only run of shotgun that I've found to consistently work against this. It is a really good run. Now, now we got all of uh, this run defense out of the way. If they come out in I form, I don't come out in big time of physics because this is like a, a this is a suicide mission. Pre pretty much, he's going to get an easy, easy, easy run. I can't audible into into a single back formation, but even such a play like halfback plan should be good. It's not. But if you get a quicker handoff, maybe it's good. Once again against iPhone, do not, do not, do not run this. Okay. Now this is all for this setup. Next setup, uh, next video, rather, I'm going to go into uh, this nice cover three look. Actually, it should be over there. I don't mind that. That's why you flip it. So this is how this cover three is then going to look. I would recommend you to put this dude in a cloud flat and then just do this. But I'm going to go more in depth on that later on. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you would not mind, please do hit the subscribe, like and subscribe buttons. It helps me out a ton. Make sure to stay tuned because I'm going to uh, do another video on this formation. Cover 3 is next. Then we're going to go into cover 4 and cover 2. Just the same. All of these plays are really, really good. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.